up, fabs and besties? Many of you have requested more hot glue food. For dolls, of course. So today, we're gonna try out a few ideas. First, you need a surface to do the project on. I was using recycled plastic, but then I felt like I was gonna chip a nail trying to remove the hot glue. So let's just go with paper. We're gonna paint it anyway, so the paper won't be visible in the final product. Plus, we can draw out a plan. I'm gonna try to make some crispy mock fried chicken. So I just sketch out what I think a little mock drumstick might look like. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, that looks about right. Then maybe a croissant. So you have like a couple layers here, right? For croissants. And then a top layer. Yeah, something like that. We're gonna need at least two of those. Please forgive my sketching here. That looks about right. No, they're completely different. But hey, if you were baking, it would be different anyway. We need something green, so maybe broccoli. I imagine we would have to do the tops separate and then a stem. So that's our plan. They might want more than one piece of broccoli each. So let's give them probably about three pieces of broccoli per serving. Let's fix those croissants. I think they were a little too large. Okay, I think this might work. Begin filling in the sketch with hot glue. Trying to stay inside the lines as much as possible. Move on to the next one. For the croissants, we're gonna have to do this a layer at a time. So start with the longest one. We're gonna fill that one in first, allow it to dry, then add the next layer. I'm making two at one time and we're gonna let it dry. Then add the last layer. All right, let's hope that works. Time for the broccoli. Let's just fill in those circles and make a line for the stem. I am pretty generous with the glue. We do want some height here. Allow them to dry. Then let's add a small mound of glue on top. <laughs> that was a fail. Okay, let's try with the second one. A Little bit of glue on top. There we go. So we can get some more height. Peel them from the paper once they are dried. Remove as much excess paper as possible. Then lay the mock drumsticks down so that the paper side is facing up and add glue to that side. So that it's gonna be a little rounded. Once dried, they will be rounded, kinda, on both sides. Peel the rest of the items from the paper. I think our broccoli stems might be too short. We need something to hold on to while sculpting the florets. So let's make them longer. I made them a little under an inch and we'll just trim off the excess. Add glue to the bottom of the florets, or what will be the florets. Then glue on the stem. We can add more glue to the other side of the stem to round it out. Once dried, hold the stem and then use the tip of the nozzle to add texture to the top. And we wanna remove the line that's created from the two drops of glue. So we're just gonna like start to sculpt it with the hot glue gun. I would advise keeping a small fan close by just so it dries quickly and doesn't get all melty while we're trying to sculpt it. If you find that it is melting a little too much and you're losing all of that texture, just take a break and work on the stem. And all we're gonna do here is just slide the hot glue gun going up. So we're carving little lines into it. And don't forget, we're gonna trim off the bottom. So you only need to carve as much as you think you're gonna keep. Then go back to adding texture to the top. And it helps me to have a picture of broccoli close by. 
Once you think you got the shape down, hold it for a few seconds until it dries. Then repeat for all the others. Use the same technique we did on the florets for the mock chicken. And we're just gonna sit here and use the end of the hot glue gun to add lots of texture and more texture and more texture until it looks like a drumstick. Let's sculpt the croissants next. Take the hot glue gun and just make lines going back and forth. I like to start on the top layer first, then do the second layer, and then do the bottom layer. You wanna make sure those lines go all the way around and allow it to dry. Then let's turn it around and do the other side. Starting with the other side of the top layer, then move to the second layer, and then the bottom layer. Once we've added texture to all the pieces, it's time to paint. I push a pin underneath each item, so I'll be able to paint it without my hands getting in the way. I have a piece of foam board with blue tack standing by, and once it's been painted, we're just gonna push the end of the pin into the blue tack and create a little drying area. Let's mix a little yellow, white, and a touch of golden brown acrylic paint. Mix thoroughly, and I do try to keep track of how many drops of paint I do for each color, just in case I need to make this color again. Paint them with a light base coat. I want this to be like a warm type of cream color. You do have to get that paint into all of those little nooks and crannies. But now you can really start to see all of that texture we sculpted earlier. I did two coats and I let it dry in between. Let's take a little brown paint, take a little paint, and we're just gonna lightly brush it onto the different layers. You know, the top layer, the second layer, and then the bottom. Repeat on the other side, allow them to dry to make flaky croissants for the dolls out of hot glue. Let's do the mock fried chicken next and add a touch of orange to that yellow paint that we already have there. Mix it up and maybe a little bit of this leftover brown. Apply it to the hot glue for a base coat making sure to get into all of the little spaces. I apply two coats and let them dry in between. Let's dry brush on a little brown. We don't need a bunch. Just enough to look like some of the tips are a little crispy. Since we're dry brushing, these don't take long to dry, so we can place them on one of our serving platters and move on to the broccoli. Let's go ahead and cut the stems on the broccoli so we can get those nice florets. Carefully place them on the pins with the blue tack on the end so they can stick onto our little foam board drying area. Let's mix a little white, green, and a touch of yellow paint. Mix it up to make a light green to use as a base coat on our broccoli. So we're just gonna paint everything with this light color green. And now we get to see just how well we did on all that sculpting. If we missed any spots, left any holes, all that. In which case it's a little too late, but you know what? It's a learning process, right? I don't really like that shade of green, so I'm going over it with just a green and yellow. I left out the white this time. It was equal parts green, equal parts yellow. And that looks better to me. Then let's add a darker green on top. Add a clear coat of nail polish or Mod Podge once I remove it from the pen, I just fill in the hole with a little bit of paint. I might have got a little happy with the nail polish because these are a little shiny, but hey, we have broccoli. 
adding a little green to our table. Let's see if we can come up with one more idea. Maybe we can make cranberry sauce by cutting a glue stick into pieces. Oh, that one's kind of thick. Let's try a little thinner. Oh, that's just as bad. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, that might work. Lay them so you have two overlapping. Just touch the back of one with a hot glue gun and then stick them together. I think it works a little better using a tiny drop of glue. I made a longer piece and glued a couple in front so it looks like we just cut the cranberry sauce right out of the can. Yes, I'm making canned cranberry sauce for our dolls. Don't tell my mother. Place them on our drying pins. Cover it with a layer of Mod Podge mixed with a drop of red paint. Then put it on a plate and add it to the table. Not really sure if that really looks like cranberry sauce, maybe more like jello, but hey, I kind of warned you about my cooking, y'all. Well, it has definitely been an adventure trying to make doll food out of hot glue. Everything was made in individual serving sizes, so we can actually put food on the doll plate. Get some broccoli here and we made little tiny portions of the cranberry sauce. So look at that. Oh, get on the plate, broccoli. And we have a meal for dolls, not humans. It's made out of hot glue. Thank you for joining us for another hot glue craft. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!